Hello and welcome to You Can Cook. We're filming in our beautiful demonstration kitchen here at Pittsfield Community Television. My name is Lisa Kazarski. I'm a registered and licensed dietitian nutritionist at Berkshire Health Systems Operation Better Start. I work with young people and their families to help them make healthy lifestyle changes. We're here today through a Carol M. White Pittsfield CAN grant. The CAN stands for Connecting Activity and Nutrition. We have partnerships with the Pittsfield Public Schools, the Pittsfield Y, and Pittsfield Community Television. Pittsfield CAN has enabled us to bring nutrition education to the students and families of the Pittsfield Public Schools. Today we're going to learn how to eat more vegetables, how to get more vegetables into our diet by using them in new ways. I'm calling this a vegetation. So here today we have with us some, our Herbert Reed Middle School students. Please introduce yourselves. I'm Serena Galan Williams. Welcome. I'm Leah Hoos. Welcome, Leah. And we have our chef in school, Hello. Chef Tom Tenuta. Chef Tom, what are we going to be making today? Today, ratatouille. We're going to make a one-pan ratatouille. Um, sometimes it can be intimidating because there's so many vegetables in it. A lot of recipes vary. There could be five vegetables, six, ten, depending where it's from, uh, the season that we're making it in. But here we're going to use pretty common vegetables that you can find just about year-round at the markets. Um, and we're going to layer it in a saute pan. So mm. that instead of cooking each one separately, um, which we would do in a lot of restaurants or even roasting them, which is another option, having a lot of pans. We're going to do it all in one pan, all right? And as you can see, as we start, we, we dice nice. up our vegetables. Uh, we have onions, tomato, peppers, red, green. You can have yellow Beautiful. peppers. Beautiful. What great um, colors. We have eggplant. Uh, there's many different types of eggplant you can use. Summer squash, zucchini. We're going to use basil. Um, fresh thyme we could use. Any, any fresh herb and just about any fresh vegetables um, works in the recipe. Nice. Now did you know that um, ratatouille is actually from France. It originated in Nice or Provence, that area of France. It's a, like a poor man's vegetable stew. And as right. Chef Tom said, it, it traditionally is made separately. The vegetables are cooked separately to retain their natural textures and they're usually layered. But Chef Tom, we're doing it today in an easy way that you can just make it in the pan. Girls, while you're doing that, how about just sharing with us what are your favorite vegetables are? Um, my favorite vegetable is spinach. Mm. Great, that's a really healthy vegetable to have, all that dark green. How about you? Acorn yeah. squash. Acorn squash. That's a seasonal vegetable for us right now, so you can eat a lot of that at this time of year. And how do you like those vegetables prepared? Um, I usually have it with um, cheese or um, on top of something uh -huh. like chicken patty or... Okay, you can work that in easy. How about um, the acorn squash? Normally just like a little bit of brown sugar and water. Mm -hmm. And you bake it up. Great. All right. So for our recipe today, um, we're going to start off with a hot pan and olive oil. Now we can stir in the garlic. And it's important with this recipe that we layer these vegetables in the order they cook. So the ones that take the longest to cook are gonna be the first one in the pot. Okay. And those vegetables are as follows. We're gonna start and stir this up a little bit. How long do we wanna let that garlic This cook garlic for? only for a minute. Now we're gonna okay. throw in the onions right on top of that. So go ahead, take the onions, throw them in. I'll stir it for you while you do that. All right. So your onions, we want to stir those, let those cook until they become soft and translucent. All right, then you get a great smell from that. Next, eggplant. Eggplant takes a while to cook down. Oh, does it really? Very spongy okay. and takes on the flavor of just about anything you put into it. But you see a lot of people put mm, tomato, really tomato sauce. Great. And we'll now continue to stir these now for about eight to 10 minutes. If, it tend, if you tend to see it dry up, a little bit, add a little bit of water. Or if you're going to use canned tomatoes, a little bit of the tomato juice from, from the canned tomatoes. All right, next, tomatoes. So we want these to really stew down. 
Again, it's, it is a vegetable, poor man's vegetable stew. Mm -hmm. So we continually stir. Great. Continually stir? Yeah, okay. we're going to continually stir this to get everything mixed. Nice. And again, we let these sit for another five minutes or so, let them cook slowly. Mm -hmm. And then the next vegetables we'll put in are, the, are our peppers. You know, red and green, again, could be orange peppers, yellow peppers. Now, is there a main component that has to be present for it to be considered well, ratatouille? Like, it depends. That's all. There's always tomato and eggplant. Okay. Sometimes, you know, omission of zucchini or peppers. It, again, depends on what's where you are, what's available, mm -hmm. what's in season. Mm -hmm. um, tends to be, you know, a summer month, but now we see these vegetables in the markets all year round, and, right. and these vegetables stay reasonably priced. So the last two, as this stews down, the last two would be our zucchini and summer squash. Now, girls, what do you think about these vegetables? What do you, how about, how about eggplant? Have you all had eggplant before? Yeah. No. Nope. Yeah? No. Nope. like it? No? Never had okay. It. Never well, this, today will all be right. your first, right? Uh-huh. Do you like, the, do you like eggplant, Leah? Yeah. yeah? So we'll let, we'll our, put our zucchini in and squash, wow. continue to stir. Now we'll let this stew down. And then the final thing we do is our fresh herb. So that's our basil. So that'll be the last thing in. Mm. Now this will go for another so 10 good. to 15 minutes. So we're at about 20 to 25 minutes that okay. this would take to cook. Um, and so Chef Tom, it's gonna take from now till it's done, it'll be 20 to 25? No, the total the time, time is okay. 20 to 25 minutes. And in like your so pan, fantastic. that's what we okay. have for it's the final product. Too. Something you could bring to a party. Exactly. You can see everything is yeah. stewed. We've just taken this out of the pan and put it into a serving dish. All right. And everything is stewed down. And that's what we're looking for. Now, you could also eat this cold. Yep. It's cold. It's yeah. great on a sandwich. Nice. Great idea. You know, or you, we, could, we could top, you know, a pizza with it. That's true. And you could this bring it to a, taste. A, to a picnic in the summer. Yep. All right. Okay. Tell us what you think. You eat Good that? Stuff. Would you eat that? Yeah? Yeah. Good. So this is a great way to get in um, your two and a half servings of vegetables a day, which is what what all Americans need to be eating, but unfortunately less than nine percent of Americans are reaching this goal. We're finishing up this this segment here and we'll be right back with another one. Here we are at PCTV with students from Reed Middle School. Please introduce yourselves. We're happy to have you. Okay, I'm Rebecca Ramos. Welcome. Rebecca. I'm Tatiana Ramos. Welcome. I'm Ethan Packard. Welcome. And we have Chef Tom with us. And today we're working Welcome. on vegetation or ways to prepare vegetables entirely different or entirely different vegetables. So, um, would you please tell us, though, what your favorite vegetables are? Broccoli. Carrots. Acorn squash. And what about preparation? How do you like those prepared? I like them boiled. You like your broccoli boiled? Okay. So, you, you just like things kind of plain. You like it kind of plain. Okay. I like mine with dressing. You like them raw? Yeah. Okay. That's great. I really don't know. No. How that acorn squash is prepared? Yeah. Okay, maybe it's in the oven? What do maybe you think? Maybe roasted in the oven. Yeah, roasted. Sometimes a little bit of maple syrup on there. Yes. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yes. we're, we're back. What are we preparing this time, Chef right. Tom? Today we're going to prepare spaghetti squash. Oh, and that's a different a, one. A, a spaghetti squash with, with tomato, parmesan, garlic, and uh, balsamic vinegar. So something a little different, spaghetti squash. Um, it's a large yellow squash. and few ways, a couple ways to prepare it is one we could prepare it in a microwave um, and the squash can be pierced with a knife so you would have an adult pierce it with a knife and put it in a microwave on high for about 10 to 12 minutes and then take it out, check it if the fork goes through nice and easy then it's ready. What we've done here today is we've roasted it another preparation. Roasting it we just cut it in half raw we put it on a sheet pan and 
it with a little bit of olive oil, put that in the oven, and that takes about 45 minutes oh, okay. to cook, and it'll get a little brown, and um, then that's ready, and, and we'll scoop out the insides, which we'll show you. But today, we're, while our squash is roasting, we're going to start making the sauce for it. So this is a take on, on spaghetti oh, and tomatoes with Parmesan. So instead of spaghetti, we're using spaghetti squash, and we'll see why they call it spaghetti squash. So we start off with diced tomatoes, which Ethan and Tatiana are showing you how we dice. All right, Rebecca, let's start it up. So first thing, we're going to add our olive oil. Chef Tom, about the, um, the roasting of the vegetable, what's the temp that we should be doing that so at? So the temp would be 350, would, would uh, take okay. care of it. And depending on the size of your um, squash, it might take a little more, a little less. Uh, you can still, even when roasting it, take a, take a knife and pierce, pierce through okay. the uh, squash to see if it, if it goes through with little resistance, and then you're ready. Okay. All right, so we have our olive oil. Next, garlic. So to create this sauce, we take our gar garlic and stir. All right, go ahead and stir that in. And we're going to let this cook for one to two minutes, just till the garlic just barely starts to brown. Okay. We have to be careful not to burn garlic, not right? Not to burn it. Then we'll have a little, it'll end up being a little bitter. Mm -hmm. So if you burn it, toss it out and start again. Or else you, you, your, di your whole dish will taste a little bitter. All right, next. So the sauce is quick. What takes a lot of time is our, is our squash. Next, we're going to add the tomatoes, our, our lovely diced, diced tomatoes. tomatoes. It's a good way go. to use up uh, tomatoes that are getting overripe, right? That's right, overripe. And we could also use canned tomatoes, as long as you buy plum tomatoes or you know whole tomatoes and drain okay. them and, and dice okay. them up. Great, nice smell. Make sure you stir that up really nice. Get that garlic mixed in there. Have any of you had uh, spaghetti squash before? No. no. So this is a, a different time. vegetable to try. Keep in mind, spaghetti squash is not a grain, so for right. those of you watching your carbs, um, it's a good way to get in a serving of vegetable Great. and to keep down the, right, so uh, keep the, stirring the that. starchy carbohydrates. So as our sauce is being made, we're going to pull our spaghetti squash out of the oven. So we've roasted it that. flesh side down, skin side up. We then turn it over, and you guys can just take a fork and gently cool. pick that out, okay? Go ahead. Do we need to put any butter on it? Uh, no, or we could put a little olive oil, oil, if you'd okay. like, on the pan okay. um, to roast it. That'll help give it a little bit of color, caramelization. Your, your uh, squash will be a little sweeter coming out of the oven, naturally mm. sweeter, without adding any That's sugar than, uh, than in the microwave. So once our sauce has, has cooked down, we're gonna um, throw in our spaghetti squash Great, that's great. So now you can hand me the whole squash and a fork. Okay. So we add our spaghetti squash. All right. And now we can see why they call it spaghetti squash, I think. Really? Huh? 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 So we, you can see that um, spaghetti squash is more nutritious than pasta. All right. Um, it is higher in fiber, so vitamin B6, and vitamin C. And it also has go. minerals in it, potassium, calcium, um, magnesium, which is helpful in our blood with our blood pressure. So Ethan, let's put a little, so we'll season it now. So to, to season, a little pinch of salt and pepper, go ahead. Great, a little pepper. Does that look good? I think it does. It looks great. It looks really good. Different. All right. And now, Tatiana, let's put a little of the balsamic vinegar. So just a couple little drops. Now, what is drops that going to do, Chef? So that's the, we're going to add. That's adding a little acid to it. Okay. Great. So that's going to help balance the dish. We're going to have a little saltiness from the cheese, Parmesan cheese. Now, we'll just dump, we'll put a little about half of that in there. There you go. Now, how Great. many people can a spaghetti squash serve? You Depending think? on the size, but some, something like this, we can feed. You know two to three people, you know, and or if we use it as a side vegetable, you know, maybe four, okay. four or six. All right. So once that, once we're just about finished, we always finish with our fresh herbs at the end, and then we'll turn off the heat. I'm done. Mmm, that looks great. So what we've done is put it in our serving dish. All right. And there's our spaghetti squash with tomato, basil, and cheese. 
And now the taste test. Yeah, so let's see you what ready? you think, huh? Yes. All right. So. so you get to go and see. We've tried spaghetti squash now. And it's it's fairly economical this time of year, yep. isn't it, Chef Tom? Yep. You were able to able to to get it at most markets. It's a w considered a winter vegetable as well. Did that help? I know, I saw you give me the eye. Uh, the guy didn't give me a fork. What do we think? I like it. Would you like it? Yeah? Hmm. Huh? It's really good. Yeah? All right. Really You'd good. eat it again? I would make it again. Would you? Good. Uh -huh. So look Very at that. Good. Another nice. way to get in those two and a half cups of vegetables a day. Okay? And another one right. that is kid pleasing. So good this job. is our segment on vegetation, and we'll be. Today we showed you new techniques to prepare vegetable sides for any meal. We gave you a vegetation. Vegetables are going to give you essential nutrients like fiber, vitamins, and minerals that are hard to find in other food groups. These nutrients are essential for growth and health. Thank you for watching our show. I'd like to thank Chef Tom and the students from Reed Middle School. We'll be back with another show soon featuring a new healthy cooking topic. Please join us.